Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is a blacksmithing tutorial. This is how to forge an arrow tip, and this is a medieval arrow tip, a uh, particular type called a bodkin. So pretty interesting, not too hard to do, and I'll show you how to do this in this, in this video. The thing about a bodkin is that um, it has this pyramidal shape like this, so yeah, for piercing, and it's pretty effective against uh, chainmail. See the the arrow tip goes into the chainmail and spreads out that link so the, the arrow can go further through. And it also has some effectiveness against um, plate mail. If you can see here, right here, See that square cutout would happen in mail, uh, plate mail? It's, it's almost like a can opener effect, how it will curl away and continue to penetrate into the armor. So an interesting uh, type of arrow. I use a uh, mild steel for this. And uh, that's it. Let's uh, launch into the tutorial on how to make a medieval arrowhead. These were used in the Middle Ages and right up into the Renaissance. Dioramas, origami, cats, pulse, and treasure chase, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormTheCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, so let's crank up the forge. I am using uh, metallurgy grade bituminous coal for this, which, is, which creates a nice fire. And I'm going to be using some mild steel that I got at the Home Depot that's uh, 5 sixteenths of an inch thick in diameter. So let's heat it up. And we're going to be, and I, first I start by doing something called upsetting the end of the metal. Hitting it like that on the end um, compresses the molecules in the end of it and it gives us more uh, steel down there to work with because what we're going to do first is going to flatten it out into a fishtail shape and this will be what we wraps around the shaft of the arrow. So see I just have multiple heats and just hammer it out into a fishtail like that. And I'll show you a little bit more. Looks pretty good. Now we're going to st now I start the curving of the um, fishtail on the horn of the anvil, but just to get a little bit of a start on that curve, the most important thing here is to work on this part right down here near the um, near the rod where the point will be on the arrow because we've got to try to fold that over and force that out because that's going to be closed up. We don't want to completely close up the outer end, the open end of the cone. So work on the steel down there, forcing it and hammering it in a, in a direction towards the end of the arrow, or the end of the point. I also use the drift to do some shaping. And I uh, made that drift. So once I get the shape right, about where I want it, and uh, we, we can do more work on it later with grinder and some hand tools and files and stuff like that. But now I'm going to cut it off on a, uh, I'm going to hot cut it on a cutoff tool. And now we can create the point. Now right now it's cylindrical. But see this motion I go with my hand back and forth, my right hand there, back and forth. That causes it to be um, squared off. And then once it's squared off, then we can bring it out to a point. Continuing with the back and forth motion with uh, the right hand. So we found a point and it looks pretty good. And I made a whole bunch of them. But uh, it was a nice day. I had a nice day at the forge. So now we can do a lot of cleaning up with this. We can do some detail work with it. Um, uh, but I like it. Let me show you a little bit more here. So that's it. The rough making of our bodkin is pretty much done. Uh, there we go. Now there's a little bit of work on the grinder. You can use files and depending on the, how hard the steel is that you're using. But you can actually take that down a long ways. Um, 
Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.